Hi guys, welcome. In this video, I'm gonna create a modern graphical user interface in a new way. Flutter is a UI toolkit to create GUI fast, easy, fun, and modern. You can code a program once and build it for iOS, Android, Windows, Mac, Linux, and also web natively. And they are incredibly fast, but unfortunately for us, Flutter uses Dart programming language, which both are made by Google. So if you want to use Flutter, you need to learn a new language. But recently, Flit has come into the game, which is based on Flutter, with some changes using Python. The developers of Flat want to make it available for different programming languages, but at the time of recording this video, Flat is just available for Python. Let's install Flat and start coding. Import Flat as FD. Let's create a function named main and create a parameter named page. Also, we declare its type. Page colon ft.page means that the page should be an instance of ft.page, and ft.page is a window, our root window and we pass the function which means do nothing. Then we call ft.app and give main to its target attribute. Simply we say that our app is main function. Let's see the result. Ok, this is the default window of flat. We can set its height and width by calling page.window height and width to 400. And don't forget that page is our root window. But when I run it, nothing happens. Well, flat is not like tkinter. And when we make a change, we need to call update method of our window. So let's do it, page.update. And now changes are applied to our window. We can set the title of our window by calling title property. I don't like example, so let's change it to counter. Ah, I forgot to capitalize it. We have run the program five times just for scaling and naming it. That's just frustrating. We need to close the program and run it for every single change. Flat has addressed this issue by hot reload. Let me show you what hot reload is. Always we run our Python program with Python, but this time we run it with flat. Go ahead and write flat space path to your script and hit enter in your terminal of choice. Now you have the program. Let's change something. Let's change height to 600 and press save. And here you go. As soon as you change your code, the program gets updated and we don't need to run and close the program a million times. There are two more great features that I'll show you at the right moment. For now, let's change the theme of our window by setting page.theme mode to ft.theme mode.dark. I guess the light mode is better as my desktop and editor are both dark. Let's create a text field and give it the value of 0 and sort in number variable. Text field is the same as entry in tkinter. When I press save, nothing happens. And that's because we haven't added our text field into our page. Let's add it. Add function adds widgets which are called controls in flat to the page and updates the page. So if I remove page.update, Nothing will break. As you see, the text field is added to the page at the very top of the page. We can change the position by setting page.vertical alignment to main axis alignment. End means very bottom of the page, and start means very top of the page, which is the default option. As you see, when we add widgets or controls, they get added vertically. If you want to have them horizontally, you can use ft.row class. Controls property is a list of controls or widgets to add. Let's first decrease the width of text field and add more text fields to our row. As you see, we have them horizontally beside each other. We can change their position by setting rows alignment property to main axis alignment, just like our page. Almost every container widget has an alignment property to easily place and order the widgets precisely. You can even change the text position in the text field by setting its text align property to ft.textalign. Now let's add two icon buttons and set their icon property to ft.icons.remove and add. You can access tons of modern icons in flat. Also set their color by changing icon color property. You can also access a lot of pre-made colors with different tones by calling ft.colors. And this is why flat is so powerful. Everything that you need is provided for you. Now let's create add function and we give it a parameter named e. E parameters should be there, but we don't need to use it necessarily. Now we want to increase the value of number. Number that value equals integer of number that value plus one, and we need to convert it to string again by calling str method because text field just accepts strings. Now let's do the same, but this time we subtract number value by one and change the name of the function to subtract. I want to add the text field value by clicking plus icon and subtract it by clicking minus icon. So let's set their unclick attribute to the functions that we created. Unclick attribute is the same for command attribute of tkinter. When we press icon buttons, 
the value of unclick attribute gets executed. But when I press the buttons, nothing happens. Can you tell why? Because we didn't call page.update after we changed the value in our functions. As I earlier said, after any change in flood, we need to call page.update to apply the changes. Let's save and test it. It's working as expected. Now it's time to show you another Flutz great feature. As I said, you can create an app and build it for different platforms with only writing the code once. If you want to see the app in your web browser, you can set view attribute of app function to ft.webbrowser. For this, you need to run the program with Python. Here you go. You have your program as a web application. There is one more thing. If you make a mistake in your code, the program doesn't crash. As you see, it gives us an error in our window. And if we mitigate it, the error is gone. That's it guys. If you want to see more of Flat, please leave a comment below. Also like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more cool stuff. Take care. See you later.